Hey, it's Jen Eden here, founder of The Sugar Freedom Method, and today I am coming to you dun, 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 with joint pain. <laughs> oh, I hear this one all the time, especially for women who come see us between the ages of 40s to 60s. I don't know, things kind of hurt, the shoulder, the knees, you step down after you get out of bed and you're, right, you're, the pads of your feet hurt. Or you're like, Jen, I never had these aches before and now I'm kind of feeling old. And just so you know, I'm almost 50 at the time of this video and it is not about being old. It is not about aging. It is about inflammation. I'm gonna say it again. Joint pain is about an increase in inflammation. And for those who don't know what inflammation is, the easiest way for me to explain it is you eat something, you drink something, something goes on and your body gets agitated. Yes, I say like you get things lodged in your joints. For me, inflammation shows up when I wake up in the morning and if I've done things, eaten things, drank stuff um, that bothers me, my hands will hurt and they'll be swollen. And I say that water has run to the area of your body that needs help. It just runs there. And so what happens? My ability to close and open my hands is affected because I have a lot of water there. The same thing with bloating. I hear women say, oh, my belly is big. I look three months pregnant, Jen. And I say, yes, your belly is bloating. And they're like, well, what is that exactly? I said, well, at the site of injury, water floods to the site of injury, and so you experience bloating. Now, when you eat things that don't cause bloating, that means that you're eating things that are appropriate for your body and they're not causing harm, so you don't need to have water rushing to the site of the inflammation. Um, I know that was a really, what's the word, simplified way to say it, but you know what? When I share it that way, women just go, oh, that makes sense. I could see why my knees hurt or I can't get my rings on. It's because I've eaten or done things, yes, that are causing um, water to go to the site of the inflammation and then I can't get rings on. So here's the thing I want to talk about today. Okay, so it's not old age and maybe you do work out too much. I get that a lot, Jen, when I work out. We have to know working out does cause inflammation, especially weight training, but I'm not gonna not weight train. But what I am gonna do is I am gonna eat an anti-inflammatory diet, an anti-inflammatory. So while I wanna tell you exactly what you should eat, I'm hesitant because in the Sugar Freedom Method, right, that is the program where we teach. It's about finding a diet that works for you. And at the same time, I do wanna just run through a couple of things that women put in their diets that they don't realize that cause inflammation. And when you pull this stuff out, your inflammation in your joints, in your hands, in your body, okay, um, in your feet, will we'll start to reduce. So number one, you gotta watch the oils you use. Oh, oils are so inflammatory in this country, in every country as far as I know. Gotta watch your oils, but especially in the US, okay? So you have a beautiful salad and maybe some delicious protein, healthy, could be even organic, and then you put this oil on it that's out there in the world. I'm gonna tell you now, if it's not in a dark glass bottle, and it's not um, extra virgin olive oil that hasn't been used to heat anything up, but extra virgin olive oil is very um, unstable. So if you don't use that in your salad, you're getting an inflammatory oil. The other oil I recommend using is coconut oil to bake or to cook with. And if you don't like that, because it's a very vibrant taste, um, it's avocado oil. Okay, so the avocado oil is also a very good oil to use. All this other stuff out there, you can do your own research. I always say to do that. It's highly inflammatory. So if you have that in your foods, please start taking a look at your oils. That's number one. Number two, everyone knows this, but I'm going to say it because it's really important. Our sugar, sugar is inflammatory. Cane sugar, the hundred names for sugar are inflammatory. So don't think just because it's not cane sugar, yes, and it's some other brand, coconut sugar, monk fruit, uh, you name it, dextrose, tapioca syrup, this. You take that stuff out and then you tell me how your joints feel. You will be surprised that even though this stuff they say is good for diabetics and is great, it's still sugar, it still impacts your insulin levels. Okay, when insulin spikes, you get inflamed. So please consider 
your sugars. All right, number three, I'm going to say it because this is the other biggie. Um, this is a big one. And people say, well, I don't understand, Jen. Flour. I don't eat gluten. I eat, I'm going to say cauliflower flour or, oh my God, there's so, cassava flour or, God, there's a million out there, right? The buckwheat, the, um, I don't know, there's a hundred million. Wheat flour. Now, the couple that I just said are gluten, but many of the brands that are out there now, I can't think of all the names in this moment, but they will be gluten-free flours, yes? We bake with almond meal. I get that from Simple Mills. It's a great brand. My kids enjoy it. So it's almond meal. It's nuts. It's not, right, gluten protein. It doesn't come from wheat. And you have to know that flour in general is inflammatory. I don't care what the box says or anyone else. You start pulling flour out of your diet, you tell me how you feel. Coupled with getting the sugar out and coupled with changing up your oils. I mean, there's many things I can talk about, but I always like to give you just a few things to think about, especially for joint pain. You go ahead and tell me how good you feel. Now, I could get into alcohol, which I won't. Um, that also absolutely impacts your joints. But just talking food-wise and things that we would eat, okay, or drink on a daily basis, that's the stuff I want you to think about. So start there. Oh my gosh, let's get your joints and inflammation down. And no, we're not getting too old. Inflammation is just rising. Okay, amazing. Um, as always, if you have not subscribed and you find my tips, tools, and strategies super helpful, come subscribe. I'd love you to be part of my community. And uh, I'll, talk to you. I'll talk to you real soon.